What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to build and play the PC port of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on your Android device. This port includes full widescreen support as well as other quality of life changes. Now with that being said, let's get started. So firstly we need to be in the GitHub page by Waterdish. I will leave a link in the description. So we're just going to scroll down slowly to releases and then tap on that. Now at the time of making this video, version 1.0.1 .1 is the latest version. So under assets, we're going to tap on APK and this should download the APK file. Once that has finished, tap on open, install, then open again. It will close automatically. That's fine as we need it to create the correct folders. We're going to back out then scroll down to the original repository link and then tap on that. And then we're going to tap on the green code button and then download zip. Once that has finished, we're going to open a file explorer. So I'm going to be using Z archiver as it is free and it is fast. So we're going to go to the download folder and then the zip file is there. Zelda 3 master. We're going to tap on it then extract to with the archive name. Once that has finished, we need to get the ROM file. So I've got it on the root of my storage. So well, I'm going to copy that and then go into the Zelda 3 master folder. Then again in the Zelda 3 master folder, then paste it here and make sure that the name is Zelda3.sfc as shown here. If it ain't renamed like this, it's not going to work. So we're going to go back to the uh, GitHub page, then back to Waterdish's page. And I just want to quickly show you this overview. So currently there is no touchscreen controls. You'll have to use a controller or an Android handheld like an Odin 2, which I am using. If you want to change some of the settings, you'll have to edit the INI file. I will show you that later on in the video. Default settings include L3 for turbo button, and it's got a uh, widescreen support. So tap on the Play Store link and then we're going to install PyDroid 3. This shouldn't take too long to download. Once that finishes, tap on Open, then tap on Continue until we get to the progress uh, screen. Once that finishes, we're going to tap on Continue. Then here, press the Back button. Then I'm going to say No agree then we're going to tap on the icon on the top left hand corner and then select pip and then search for pillow tap on done and then install then on this prompt we're going to tap on get plugin it will take us to the play store so we're going to tap on the install button so this is a slightly larger file at 172 megabytes and obviously the download will depend on your speeds once that finishes, we're going to go back and then I'm going to uh, search for pillow again as shown in the uh, instructions. Install. Once that finishes, we're going to write PYYAML and then install that. So once that finishes, we're going to press the back icon on the top left and then press the icon again and select terminal. Now pay attention to the uh, directory on the top. Your one might differ. So in my case, it is storage. That's where we need to go. So I'm going to type in CD forward slash storage, then CD emulated. And it's pretty self explanatory. Again, make sure you go into the correct folder. So here we're going to go into the download folder or wherever the Zelda folder is. So remember there are two folders in the Zelda folder. So we're going to type in the same folder name again. Then once there, we need to type in the following. Python 3 space assets forward slash 
R E S T O O L dot P Y space hyphen hyphen extract hyphen from hyphen rom enter. Now it should pause here for a good few seconds. If it does, that means it is working and extracting the necessary files. Once that finishes, it should look like this. So we're going to back out and go to our file explorer. Now I'm just going to refresh this. Now if we go right to the bottom, we've got a new file here called zelda3assets.dat. So we're going to copy that and then go to the root of the device, then the Android folder, data, then look for com.dishi zelda3 files and then paste it here. Now before I launch the game, I'm going to open the INI file and this is where you can change some of the quality of life settings. So I'm just going to leave the top as it is right now. And obviously you can, you know, check for yourself what you want to change. But I'm just going to scroll down and change a few settings. So firstly, we're going to change collect items with sword. Change that to 1 and then sword can be used to break pots. This only works from levels 2 to 4. You can also disable the low heart PP if you want as well. And then enable various Zelda bug fixes. Again, you know, you're welcome to change any other settings, but I'm going to just do these for now. And if we scroll down, there's other key map settings here. I'm not going to mess around with any of that. So once we're happy with that, we're going to tap on save and we can exit that, then launch the game. And as you can see, the game has loaded up. We're on the intro screen. So let's just wait for it to get to the uh, title screen and then we can begin playing. So I'm just going to keep this very short, call it G and then start the game. And here I'm going to press the L3 button so we can speed up the text. And as you can see that works great. So here we are. Everything seems to be working fine. And the game is pretty much in full screen. There will be some parts where the left hand side goes black unfortunately. I believe this will be fixed some point in the future. So yeah, that's it. This is basically how you play the PC port of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on your Android device. Now if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.